past couple months, I've been working with a team of videographers, editors, photographers to get Beats, Beds, and Browns off the ground. For those of you that don't know, uh, Beats, Beds, and Browns started on a whim. A friend of mine, Jason James, who's here, said I needed to start a YouTube channel. And I said, don't tell me what to do, man. <laughs> it wasn't going to happen. So uh, what I did was I started thinking, you know, if I was going to start a YouTube channel, what would it be? It would be about things that I'm passionate about, maybe that I've drifted away from, maybe things that I'm actively engaged in, and maybe things that I like to uh, unwind, relax, and enjoy. So Beats is uh, the emerging artists from Chicagoland, Northwest Indiana, featuring hip-hop artists. The Beds is raised bed gardening. If you've seen any of my social media feeds, You've met my mistress. Uh, my wife calls it that. It's uh, where I spend most of my free time when I'm not working, when I'm not spending time with my family. Uh, we have two 15 by 20 foot raised beds, and we grow everything from spaghetti squash, broccoli, to your traditional tomatoes, uh, spinach, shard, kale, etc. And then the browns portion is uh, bourbon and whiskey. Who doesn't like a, a fine sipper of some brown alcohol? So we've uh, reached out to a number of distillers. And this year for our first season, we got Paul Fletco with Few Spirits, who uh, started as a reformed attorney in the distilling industry. He was the founder of the Craft Distiller Association and now distributes Few Spirits to over 37 countries. <coughs> so throughout uh, the release of the episodes, again, starting tonight with episode one, featuring Constant Burtz at midnight, find us on YouTube at Beats, Beds, and Browns, and please subscribe, hit that smash that subscribe button. Um, we'll go on and carry through artists. Uh, State Rep Earl Harris will discuss the urban agriculture bill. We'll talk about Pit Moss and its local founder, Mark Handley, from the Purdue University Northwest Innovation Center. Uh, he launched an uh, environmentally friendly alternative to Peat Moss. Um, again, the distillers and the artists which we're here to celebrate tonight. Um, so tonight, in no particular order, we'll be hearing from AM early morning. Constant L. Burtz and Julian Love Raps, J. Love Raps. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over. Oh, and can't help but thank DJ Rondell Adams. <laughs> and our host, Rockland Page. Between the sets, shop. Shop local, black owned business, let's support. And without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to our MC for tonight, Ruben Baby Harshana El Caminante. Yo, Mary, make some noise, bro. I'm happy to be here, man. I'm happy to be here. I don't know if anyone ever said that before, but we're here. Uh, Man, let's uh, um, before we start, man, with a little ha ha's, bro. Let's 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 be real, man. I want to shout out to Joe, man. Th what what you do, bro? That's just awesome, bro. Everything is about giving other people's opportunity. You only grow when we grow. You know what I'm saying? So the only thing I gotta ask is, how high were you when you made up Beats, Beds, and Browns? Cause I can, <laughs> I was gonna say, man, I could only imagine the conversation you and your homie were having, bro. We should like start a podcast about what? Like grass and shit. But not only grass, hip hop too. Oh, okay. What about like distilleries and shit? Bro. Fuck yeah, you know? So, man, you know, he was like, yeah, you was telling me about this idea. Like, oh, that's awesome, bro. You know, we've all had extraneous ideas. You know what I'm saying? We've all soon, you know what I'm saying? We've all ad adventured out in a sense. And, you know, let's be honest. The pandemic, everything was adjustments, okay? We all had to adjust to something different. You know, me, I couldn't pick up women the same as much as I used to, you know? I, I couldn't go to an all-you-can-eat buffet and pick up a big lady talking about, you know, what's her favorite salad dresser, you know? Like, do we eat salad? No. So... You know what I'm saying? I had to uh, go through different ventures, bro, and I had to use Uber Eats to uh, find the, the women of my life. And, you know, I always had made sure my driver was a female, so it worked out. We both, uh, I tipped her $2, so that didn't really work out. She didn't really fuck with me, but it's all good, man. Uh, so any Chicagoans in the building? 
I got a question for you guys real quick. Okay, now that I got y'all over there, I'm going to talk to that corner. Why do y'all feel the need to quiz everybody and anything as soon as they ask for their, or tell you that they're from Chicago? Like, the need. But it's not even, like, a, a nice, oh, what part? No, like, hey, what part? You know, uh, then they quiz you about shit that has nothing to do with Chicago. Like, I'm from the Burbs, bro. I'm going to tell you straight up. I'm from the Burbs. I'm from Joliet. Um, I'm not from Chicago. I, I just, you know, look like, I guess. I don't know. And one time I accidentally said that. The Chicagoan looks at me, bro, and he stopped everything that he was doing, bro. He just looked straight at me. He was like, oh, you from Chicago, huh? Yeah. Like, oh, okay. I'm going to quiz you. And I'm like, fuck, I wasn't ready for that, you know? Where the fuck does Lori Lightfoot get a haircut at, cuz? Come on. Sports clips? Ah, oh, shit, you got lucky on that one, bro. I swear, on phone them, you got lucky on that one, bro. I was about to jump your ass. I got lucky, so shout out to Lori, man. So, Lori, you know what I'm saying, uh, where are my White Sox fans at? <laughs> yes, sir, we in the building, we in the building, baby. Where the Cub fans at? Yep, nah, nah, yeah, hmm. yep, mm. yep, and anyways, when Lori Lightfoot was like, hey guys, you know, right before the pandemic was like slowly going down before I went back up, uh, she was like, hey guys, baseball's back at 20% capacity, you know, obviously we were lit, she was like, White Sox Field, you get 20%, and I was like, bro, we've been at 20%, <laughs> like, we were social distancing before it was even a thing, bro, like, but the only thing is, bro, I knew that times were bad because the White Sox tickets went from $5 to $10. And I just knew that the times were, you know, it's a shitty time. You know what I'm saying? I mean, all the Cub fans are like $5. Or <laughs> I pay 70 for bleachers. <laughs> That's cool, man. You guys are rich. You know what I'm saying? Must have some single moms in your life because, man, you want to talk about who became millionaires during the pandemic? Y'all, we all had that one cousin that got eight kids and shit. I don't know where's on vacation. I don't know where talking about, you know, she don't need no man. While her eight babies still wearing the same shoes for the past two years. It's crazy though, but that's who I hooked up with though. I'll be honest. I mean, that's how I got this coach back, I'll be honest. <laughs> I went through Facebook and I found if you had two to three kids, I wasn't interested. I wanted four, five, six, you know what I'm saying? I wanted an NBA starting lineup, you know. 1,400, 1,400, 1,400, 1,400, and 1,400. And then Biden said child tax credit. So I was like, I bet 600 a month here, 600 a month there, another one. Yeah, so I'm a, I'm a, I'm a proud stepdad of uh, 300 kids. You know what I'm saying? The monthly checks are good, bro. It's cool to be there every other weekend. You know what I mean? Man, but uh, as we keep going, man, I want to give a shout out to my boy Rock, man. He established this business, man. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful area, man. It's crazy what you could do with the PPP loan. It's crazy. At least, he, at least I know he won't go to federal prison. He actually did something with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we, yeah, that's you know what I'm saying. Some people, we're going to be a free bro. Shit. <laughs> free the homie. Nah, he gone. Think about it. The IRS hit me up with a forty-one dollar uh, bill saying you forgot to pay this. Imagine the people that scanned them with ten thousand dollars. Oh no, bro, we we legit, bro. We were good, man. They don't believe a Devontae's Flower Company in the Gary, Indiana, right? They're not. They gonna look at that shit. They gonna find it. They gonna be like, this is a fake ass business, bro. You out. Speaking of Gary, anybody in here from Gary? Okay, cool. So it's gonna be a safe show, really safe show. I'm really happy about that. Let's highlight another business in here, man. We got so many businesses in here. On the rocks is in the back, y'all. So make sure y'all get your drinks, waters. She got this thing called Juicy Juice, non-alcoholic, all right, guys? So don't go over there thinking she got Hennessy and shit over there because she don't. It's just lemonade, and it's, it's good, though. It's good. So make sure to show her some love. Um, uh, to all my sweet heads, uh, Rock a Black, uh, his daughter, has a little candy shop right there. So get yourself some candy and support her as well. Um, yeah, uh, candles. We got candles from a different man. You just all about giving everybody opportunities, man. So shout out to you, Rock. Give, give a round of applause to Rock, man. <laughs> the only time I don't like Rock is when he asks me uh, what my work arts are. You know, <laughs> the other day I, I posted a video of me kind of like jogging a little bit, 
And he said, were you walking or were you? I was like, I was, j- I was, I was jogging, bro. And I was like, you look like you were walking. And what's crazy is, you know, he's up at 4 a.m., um, you know, this is what I, where I don't like my healthy friends. He's up at 4 a.m., you know what I'm saying? He's getting ready. He's putting his Nike shirt on. He's, you know, doing some quotes on Instagram talking about how you got to seize the day and shit. And uh, he sees my little green dot on Facebook saying that I'm online. He's like, hey, brother, you getting a run in? Nah, I was actually just grabbing a snack and going back to bed, but <laughs> shit. He's like, right, let's, get, go, let's go on a run. Nah, man, go to sleep, bro. And I hate it because any activity, bro, I'm like, hey, what's up, Rock? What you doing, bro? About to go on this mile run, bro. We got to train. What's up? I'm like, bro, we can't we just, like, go play 2K like normal people? Who enjoys running? Mm. <laughs> How? <laughs> that shit hurt, man. Um, and, and the thing is, man, I'm going to keep it honest with you. My mother, she was very adamant about me getting my health straight because as soon as I went back to visit her after that pandemic, she said, mijo. Whew. I was like, mom, I'm rich now. I got 300 stepkids and I got... <laughs> $600 pays. I can go to eat Alexander Steakhouse if I want. My type 2s don't like it, but it's okay. Type 2 going to have to deal with it, all right? Type 2 diabetes is that one cousin, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't make it too happy. You just got to make it the right happy. Like, you go know saying? You got to be, like, right in the middle. Like, when I was super broke and couldn't afford food and shit, it was like, bro, feed me. But now that I can feed it, it's like, all right, chill the fuck out. You good, bro. So, man, let's get this music shit started, man. Let's keep going, man. So, shout out to the, uh, we're going to bring up this next artist. This artist, uh, I've listened to his music, man. Joe gave me a good article on each person and on the vibes, and man, his music is really touching. So, please, listen to it, man. Listen to the message. And as I I present to you, man, J-Love Raps, come to the stage, baby. So. Shit. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> that music kills me. It's like, yeah, kill him, kill him. I'm like, oh, cut that shit off. No, my bad. I'm joking. Um, no, let's get into the first joint, though. Uh, what is the order? Joe, this is all your fault. Joe, uh, here you go, right here. Thank you very much. Yep. All right. This song, uh, yeah. I wrote this yeah. song because uh, I live in a dangerous ass city. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen all the articles. Uh, Fourth of July weekend, yeah. 78 people shot, 20 dead. So I don't know. It inspired me to write this song. Uh-huh, yeah. Murder-free holiday weekends, yeah. Murder-free holiday weekends, huh? Them numbers diving off the deep end. Duck on our chest, nigga, we geeking. We all around for fun, uh. But can we put down the guns? Eh, yeah. man, let these kids grow up with their parents. We didn't have our own, it's apparent. Uh. Murder-free holiday weekends, uh. Murder-free holiday weekends, uh. The more that we kill, our strength weakens. Titanic, them thoughts, let it sink in. Our women, the brightest, people, the brightest. We most creative and we the flyers. Cookouts at the park near the lake. Don't ask Granny, make me a plate. Uh, I grew up around dealers and healers. Don't sweat butterflies and this caterpillars. Blackness is greatness like Mike on Thriller. Better shoot for the stars like Reggie Miller. This rampage get rocky, Chicago Rilla. If your city real, Chicago Rilla. They all see us as savages and killers. It's bad enough that 12 wanna kill us. Uh, murder free holiday weekends. Uh, murder free holiday weekends. Uh, murder free holiday weekends. Yeah. Murder free holiday weekends. Murder free holiday weekends. Yeah. Murder free holiday weekends. Murder free holiday weekends. Uh, that's all a nigga is seeking. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm trying to get loose. Thank you, thank you. 
The cool thing about that song, though, is uh, as positive as it is, it actually got picked up for like a mini movie and played in a, a drive through movie theater. So that was really dope. That was very, very dope. Um, Cause it, it gives people an opportunity to hear a different perspective in rap. I think we get too comfortable hearing about, uh, you know, just so much other shit when it's so much to talk about. Music's so powerful and it influences your mood. So I always try to challenge myself as an artist. Um, so yeah, let's keep having fun. What's next? What's next? What's next? Oh yeah, this is Joe's joint. Joe liked this crazy ass song. Come on. <laughs> Do you ever feel? Where's Joe? Like the only one. Hey, the tallest guy in the building. <laughs> Cause I always feel like the only one. I don't know what I was yeah, thinking when I made no this fun. shit. Spend my days longing for something. Let's enjoy the music. Let's vibe out. Baby or Chada. Spend my days stuck in the way. I don't know why they call them baby or Chada. XL baby or Chada. Another sad Saturday. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Another sad Saturday waiting for you. Yeah. Ooh. Another sad Saturday waiting for you. Ooh. Who's ever got stood up? Who ever got love hanging? Another sad Saturday I have. <laughs> waiting for you. Six piece with some lemon pepper in the mouth, sauce on the side. I can eat you like I eat this. Why would you want to fight? I can be your Superman long as you ain't doomsday We go together good like tacos in Tuesdays You can crush me on Monday, I'll hump you on hump day You can throw it back on Thursday, I want you in the worst way You can flash me on Friday and bless me on Sunday Girl, train me like a battery, it'll still be a sad Saturday Damn. Do you ever dream of a final I used all Instagram shit on that all that win Wednesday, uh, Women Crush Wednesday shit, uh, I took all of that. <laughs> I took it all. <laughs> that was like my social media influence song. Uh, let's see. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. I hope I don't bore y'all to death. Uh, I'd just like to ask a quick question. Um, who likes free money? Y'all like free money? Somebody. Like somebody. I know somebody likes free money. Like, really. I have one slave owner in my pocket, uh, Mr. Jackson. Anybody like a, a free slave owner today? Somebody, give me two, three people. Come on, first, one, two, and three. Come on, all y'all right here. Come on, all three, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't bite, mate, sometimes, but come on, come on. So, the name of the game is count. That's all you have to do, not count Dracula, just count. You have to count how many times you hear me say the word black. No, seriously, seriously, that's it, count me here. Count me. No, not, not now. Don't, don't start counting now. <laughs> She's like, one? <laughs> Literally, like this $20 will go to the, to the most accurate person, all right? All you have to do is count. That's it. Now, see, so you see now, watch the, watch everybody who didn't raise their hand. They're so engaged now. Watch this. I'm going to sit this right here. This is going to home with one of y'all. And I'm going to give you some money anyways for the shirts, but this is a tip <laughs> if you win. <laughs> all right, let's go. This is a fun song, man. This is like, now, now, I'm, now I'm excited. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe Skibby. Uh. Hey, yo, hey, yo. Hey, yo, sometimes I forget how beautiful black is. You got a bastard, and that's your past to gun down black kids. Ask Oklahoma how they feel about black biz. Black Wall Street got burned off the Atlas. Unless you a slave or prophet, your blackness don't really fit. And that's when I knew they ain't blind, they really see it. You gotta be all of that for them to go through all of this. Y'all keep me count, right? All right. Fresh out the box. Is this really get really real? Look at watch. Yo, they have no idea. It's all black. We all at, we all at. Hey, hey. We all at, we all at, we all at. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No doubt. Y'all gotta excuse me, I'm a 90s kid. Hey, we all at, we all at, we all at. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is what we are faced with, and this is the reality. Now, when we come to Washington in this campaign, we are coming to get our yeah. check. Let's blackball and blackmail the black males. Give black eyes to black guys for white tails. 
And white girls love black hawks and black cops We need black cops when duty calls like black ops Let's blacklist they blackness and black fists I hate black words, they not creators like blacksmiths They black acts like rock and Jumanji, no Jack Black I've been a savage like Black Jack A back back, you can't double cross me like black cats Red line and control, where you see black sat This country was built on free labor of black backs So if you in the hood, you just might see a black mat And you may want a one, cause them boys will go black Black, and that's facts. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? If you feeling it, put a hand up. Yeah. Hey, put a hand, put a hand up. Yeah. Put a hand, put a hand up. Yeah. But we must look at the fact that we don't teach hatred. Everywhere we go as black people, we face hatred. Look at it. Look at it. Angel food cake, white people say, is white. Devil's food cake, you say, is black. You wear white. Who wins the money? Hey, let's go, let's go. Thank you so much. Everybody putting their hand together. Thank you so much. Thank you. No, honestly, literally. That, see, when you, hear, when you see an artist perform, you know, you just see a two, three minute set, you know, bobbing head, bouncing around. What you're really hearing is hours and hours of... Google searches and YouTube searches for beats and listening and late nights and writing sessions and synonyms and adjectives and all of that. You're hearing all of that compiled into three minutes. So literally, like, thank you so much. When y'all put your hands together, y'all don't understand. Like, that's, that's a lot, you know, so appreciate you. Thank you. And the winner of the slave owner is? 32. 32. 26. Ooh, that's a... Crazy split. Y'all close as hell. Y'all was listening. So the answer is drum rolls. We got a drum. We got a drum. Hey, 28. So we got two 26s and a 32. So you actually three, three or so off. Y'all like two. See, now I got to split this. I only have one slave owner. But if we can get another, we can divvy this shit up. <laughs> oh, well, hey, if y'all draw together, hey, you make sure your mans get taken care of, brother. Thank y'all so much for participating and listening. We got a couple more joints, and then I'm going to get off the stage and let the next great one jump on. Uh, let's see. What are we looking like here? Yes, it is. So this is my version of, uh, what is that uh, perverted-ass song, WAP? Um, that song, uh, the, the, yeah, the, the wet-ass pussy song. Um, yeah, my, my WAP doesn't stand for wet-ass pussy. It just stands for women are prolific. So if you're a woman and you're in the building, give yourselves a hand. Because there would be no men here if it weren't for y'all. So give yourselves a hand for sure. All right, let's do what? All right, all right. Yeah. Joe was picking all the joints. Yeah, yeah. Uh, baptize me in the tears of black women that shoot you in the foot, but I still got your back, women. That front line fist raised leading the pack, women. That only on the news because my son was attacked, women. They paint pictures like y'all clowns in the circus. The whole world mistreats you while your features getting purchased from health care to welfare. All of that shit is worthless. You online getting slandered by surgeons and nurses. Who was breastfeeding them cracker kids in slavery? Who knew Harriet Tubman possessed so much bravery? Who knew black women cooking mean the food gonna be savory? Who knew they was gonna hang Sandra Bland like some draperies? Rakia Boyd, Breonna Taylor, man, the list so long. You have to listen long. I got y'all back with my pistol on. So never feel like you pissed alone. Showering your garden through this microphone. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I wrote that shit in the height of the George Floyd madness. It was crazy, man. It was so many emotions, and I just thought about all the powerful black women throughout my life, and just in media, and yeah, all women really. But at that time, that was my focus. But shout out to you. Shout out to you if you're a woman. Period. Um, What's the last song? Oh shit, okay, so this last song. I've never performed it live. I don't know why Joe chose this shit. Um, I love this song, because it's all my music, I'm biased. Um, 
but it's like five songs smashed together, and Joe likes this kind of shit. It's like a roller coaster. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all enjoy it. This is my first time performing it live. I won't fuck it up, but still, I just hope y'all enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, 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 Damn, this is a long time ago I wrote this song. <laughs> Do heaven got section eight right outside the gates? Do the Texas five footprints covered in purple rain? Should churches have super soakers filled with holy water? And make it rain on thick strippers viewed as broken daughters? Rewind time and have my pops put on the condom. Start my life over and raise me in Wakanda. It's Chun Li legs faster than E Honda hands. Am I becoming a problem or have I been it like chance? Should I make love in Chicago or fuck two women in France? It all depends on my plans. Should I buy y'all some glasses so you can see my worth? Will I die a legend or was I doomed since birth? Hi. Do you like cruising comments or are you down to earth? Transforming sound waves in my prime will help me surf. Jeez, it ain't so smooth no more. I'll tell you right now, nigga. Woo! Hey, uh, hey. fuck your opinion. I could care less until I'm headless, so I'm rich as Jack Binion. I only do features for a few creatures and it's all on my decision. No manager, no team with me, niggas try to doubt the vision But I'm back again, they'll never back me in Cause I'm a fucking problem, it's an honor in my presence Kappa Nick the Collin, I'm like Kappa nigga if he wildin' But I'd rather get hit on the island, you don't understand though They know I'm the man bro, I'm going command, don't multiply by Rambo The beast is ammo, you niggas is Hasbro Still a monster, no sponsor, so damaging, most savage No handout, flow panned out, gon' stand out, bro air mouth Don't care about your whereabouts and Cali got keys and I ain't way wise. Pages back, use parts of us and paid thoughts. Trying to save lots on slave box for glaze crotch. Is that what Thorson has really come to? Protecting the harmony, which will a gun do? Old soul like Shang Tsung, cuffed it long time ago. Diamonds as hard as I'ma go. Been here before like dinosaur. High and mighty, most honorable. Laziest lyric chronicles on Facebook, stalking, watching Bay like Guantanamo. Arm leader Geronimo. We snatch you by the follicle. Your girl bad mind, diabolical. That's comical. Efforts is astronomical. Dare you not say LeBron the GOAT? I'll feed you to a gator, then serve you fried at Papa Doe. Yeah, last one. Let's ride it out. Uh. Don't do my blackness no favors. We are already the greatest. I love to piss off the haters. I might just wake up the neighbors. You can't do that when you got some acres. Black women are so amazing. They are my 31 flavors. And samurai in the making. Two swords like the Oakland Raiders. Uh. Being extra is our nature. I ain't minor with the majors, but I'm major with the minors. Check this, that's the plus or minus. I ain't minus, I'm the finest. I'm your highness, fuck your culture bias. I'm the science. We the chosen, leave them frozen, niggas open. Beware of my consciousness. She asked me what kind of flex. I told her what kind of flex. Never gonna see me round here unless I'm chopping next. I take my girl out, she say, Well, we shopping next. I look in mirrors to boost up my confidence. I am a king and I treat it like common sense. Uh. It's the moon walking, cold whiskey loving, always bro plugging, wild honey stugging. Let me hold something, never hold loving. Popo roll up it, we don't know nothing, got the pole tucking. So much violence right here, keep the peace on me. Two fingers, man, they don't know peace on me. I'm not a born movie, so why would they sleep on me? Damn. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. I am J Love Raps. That is at J Love Raps, cause J Love Raps. Thank you. My brother, my brother. Hey, give it up for J Love Raps, man. Let him hear it, let him hear it. Man, you good, you good. Man, Charles Gambino went crazy. Charles Gambino did his thing. <laughs> no matter what you say, what you do. <laughs> No, nah, it's cool, bro. You got bars, but look here, look, I got chocolate bars. You hear me? Yeah. 
Don't fuck with me when I'm hungry. I'm never watching my calories. I want to eat some Mickey D's or maybe some Burger King. You still better than me, though. I just get excited thinking about food and shit, bro. I was thinking about Joe, you know, a little second ago, man. I was like, bro, he, he's telling me how passionate he is about those three things. If I had a podcast, it'd be about tacos, euros, and single moms. I'd, I'd interview single moms and be like, right, <laughs> straight to the top. We're getting views, baby. I'm interviewing single moms while we eat tacos and euros. See how many kids she got. It's an open interview. It's all good. But yeah, man, on to the next, bro, man. Uh, this other artist, Joe, yo, Joe gave me the catalog on everybody. He said, you know, all these guys are good. And I was like, let me see. But not nah, genuinely, man. These artists are amazing. Uh, you know, he puts, he, he talked about it just perfectly fine, too, bro. Um, all jokes aside, like, being an artist in any level is very difficult. We get judged the most, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, even being a comedian, I've been at shows where nobody laughed, and people would think, oh, he sucks. But you know how much courage it takes, you know, to do this kind of thing? Same for the artists, you know, musical artists. You, you, you put in so much time. And, and it's, it's not about going in a booth and be like, all right, bro, put, it, you know, put the beat, figure it out. You good? All right, cool. Boom, 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 boom. No, it's not at all. You got to look at the beat. You got to buy the beat. You got to uh, go to your, your producer. You got to pay him. You got to go to the studio, pay him. Then you probably pay for marketing. Yeah, it's a whole thing. So, man, so all these artists, please, the least, the, the one thing that I think we all love is support. So if you got an Instagram, just give them a follow. Give them a double tap here and there. And then if they put an outfit picture, you like that shit too. You know what I'm saying? Support these guys. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so without further ado, man, let's get the next act up. And we got this guy coming on, man. So start making some noise. Start making some noise. We got AM early morning. <laughs> Yo, 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 how y'all feeling tonight? Yeah. That was pretty good. We got, we got a little intimate section, but if, if we can get a couple people, I know it's COVID, a couple people come up a little bit more. My name AM Early Morning. I'm from the west side of Chicago. Um, we're just going to get it right into it, man. Let's do this. Shit, so we gonna have some fun. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Ah. Check. Okay. Yeah. Hopping out the water like the Loch Ness. Running, jumping hurdles for the progress. Got tired of seeing my mama so stressed. Hungry in the ring, waiting for a contest. Ah. If you want a nigga, come and get it. Patty Boom, straight jacket, how I'm so committed. I've been on a different path, different type of zone Got pussy flying at me like a fucking drone Uh, hit my beeper, cops listen on the mobile phones Bitch call me E.T., why? I'm going home Never slip, but I might stumble I done seen crack fiends barefoot, call them Barney Rubble Sixteen, I've been self-made, self-paid Back when the man once had the blue suede Imagine how I really want my lifestyle For your comments, I might give a slight smile White marble living room, waterfall with a damn tree. Gold ceilings like a masterpiece. My son got a library, he ain't even three. Work jumping off like a bootleg DVD. Two for five, wheel spinning, never pump the brake. Life's a movie, but you only get one take. Marathon laps, niggas better stay in shape. Chicks call me Superman. I don't need a damn cape, I need a damn lake. Can't stop the hustle, I don't need a damn break. Call them silicone. Niggas fake and they rough stank With a duct tape, think I'm a body to rap ah. Y'all like that, man. I like this intimate, intimate shit, man. All the claps, man. I appreciate y'all. So look, so my name AM Early Morning. I reside from the out west. Some people say west side. I call it out west of Chicago. Um, I throw my own shows. I dropped, um, first of all, Shout out to Joe just for being an amazing dude, man. Clap it out for him. And just, man, reaching out to me, just being genuine. Um, 
the Beats, Beds, and Browns, man. Like, I, I've been with it since he started. We did an interview a while back, so sh I'm not even going to talk about it. It's going to be great when it come out. Um, but, yeah, like I said, uh, I do, do my own show, so I want to do this. Anybody in here from Chicago? Like, okay, so we're going to do it like this. I got this show uh, Thursday at Magoo's Bar. I'm bringing Rome Streets to the town. If you haven't heard of him yet, super big uh, hip-hop artist. I'm going to give away two free tickets. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram and tell me what my last single that I dropped was. If you could tell me that and you live in Chicago, you will get two free tickets. So my Instagram name is AM Early Morning. It's just that simple, okay? Let's go to the next one, DJ. Let's do it. Check. Like. Collecting paper like I'm Uncle Sam Fresh pink of blue fur like I'm Killer Cam Nice fade, dancing like it's house party Got the weed, got the drink White boys sniffing Chris Farley Got a chocolate Barbie rolling up my Marley Baby girl, ride my joystick like an old Atari Young, young boy count no paper Niggas throwing shade, it's a light breeze off my windbreaker Cop a sandwich at the bodega, finesse sharp as a razor It's minor setbacks, but a nigga major Lemon pepper on my chicken for a little flavor Trap and watch it for blue and red like a lightsaber The room quiet for the demonstration No limitations, sacrifice, roll the dice, every situation Coming for you pussies like it's penetration Crowd jumping, we in the house so we bout to bounce New fit, fresh kicks, let me see you bounce Wrist work, poppin' steady, droppin', let it bounce Thick waist, damn baby, let me see you bounce Let me see you bounce, let me see you bounce The cops comin', bitch, I'm running. we bout to bounce Hitting switches, hydraulics, bitch, let it bounce You writing checks, all they do is bounce Nigga, just let me bounce, yeah, let me bounce Niggas see me, wanna be me, wish they had a genie Thick chick, eyes on me like she watching TV Ride around the city all day, collecting funds Taking off my belt, whooping rappers cause they all my sons Ten P's, wrap them up, send them to Ohio Wide brains like the internet, we going viral I could rock some old shit, if it's out of style Lay your BM down like carpet or some damn tile I'm a beast, call me Chief, records on file Take a shit on a track, look out for the pile Bitch, niggas just hate, all I do is smile Making dope, pulling ganja leaves out the damn bio Machine gun funk, body in the damn trunk Either three-pointer or the lane for the damn dump Verse whack, I'll stomp you like a fucking mouse Enough of the bullshit, we bout to bounce New fit, fresh kicks, let me see you bounce Wrist work, poppin', steady droppin', let it bounce Thick waist, damn baby, let me see you bounce Let me see you bounce, let me see you bounce The cops comin', bitch, I'm runnin', we bout to bounce Hitting switches, hydraulics, bitch, let it bounce You writing checks, all they do is bounce Nigga, just let me bounce, let me bounce Y'all enjoy that one? Man, see, that's what I like. I feel like the smaller the crowd is, it feel like it's literally like 200 people in this motherfucker clapping. And not to piggyback off what these dudes were saying, but it's the truth. Like, when y'all clap, when y'all give, like, interaction, man, that shit is everything to an artist. Because like they said, we've been doing this shit for hours, like hours all the time. So, yeah, so I'm going to shout my Instagram out one more time, AM early morning. I am giving away... Two free tickets to my show. It's going to be crazy live uh, graffiti. We got multiple artists, Vic Spencer, Phil Moore Green, a bunch of Chicago like legends on it. Yep, yep, that's my brother too, man. Tell him what's up. Tell him AM said what's up. So, yeah, man, like I said, we're going to get into it. AM early morning. My The answer to the question, well, not the answer, that would be giving it away. The question is, what was my last single that I just dropped? All right, let's do this. <laughs> vibe on this one. It's a little chill right here. Check. Like, I 
I got no time to play when a nigga starving. Jack boys come near, hit them dogs barking. Grand Larson, AK-105, air carbon. The picture ain't always what it seems. When I hate on your team and they shitting on your dreams. In a world where niggas popping pills and sipping on lean. I'm from where homies will go out and they'll shoot for you. But they won't pop out and go and root for you. I just want a white house with a west wing. Met Phil Moore when I was out slanging green. Met Lauren Cole when I was out blicking fiends. Wicked world, cause now they both a part of the team. Ah. Almost died in both occasions. I had getting to it for this paper. Can't be dusty, loyalty or death. Shot town getting money. I might crack a smile and a damn thing funny. And RP Prodigy in the great heavens, me and Fleet just went seven for seven, yeah. And shout out to Castle and Big French. I was up in Foster Projects cooking this hard mess. Ah. Thank y'all, thank y'all. That was off my uh, project, 7 a.m., 7 for 7. I did that shit in 2019. Uh, me and my girl was stuck out in New York. Remember that polar vortex or vor shit we had? Remember that shit? I was literally supposed to come home on a Monday. They canceled our flight and they said, you guys can't go home until Friday night. Yeah, so that was that was fun. Yeah, that was fun being out there that long. Uh, but we made a whole album. It was amazing. Um, shit went well, man. So I don't know if anybody even knows the answer to the question, the Instagram question. Not yet. Anybody? Nope. Yep. Nope. Does anybody? All right. Let's wait. Let's wait a minute. Let's wait a minute. How many more songs we got to take? Two. Oh yeah, this is one of my favorite ones. So hey, this this joint right here, it's called Oakley. Um, so I, I made a whole project called Oakley. It's literally um, just tell the story real quick. It's about the hood that I'm from. And uh, Oakley, if you don't know, is the street just east of Western Avenue. Okay, um, so uh, it's a lot of gang violence. Uh, Harrison. Yeah, yeah, them Oakley boys, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the um, thing about that is it's a lot of gang violence, a lot of drugs, a lot of shit going on in the city. But what I always say is Oakley runs north and south. So no matter what hood you are from, we all are family. That's how I feel it. So that's what I meant by Oakley when I did this project. Not to be, you know, promote or gang violence, or promote drugs. It's to literally tell y'all, like, we all are family. We're a unit as one, man. So here we go. This is my, my joint, Oakley. <laughs> Ah. Check. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Welcome to my city, to my area. Every nigga around me, pit bull terrier. My homie, he a 40 Glock contraband carrier. Grew up on MC Juice, mass hysteria. I thought I was Coach Jack. My machine know that. DDT, my cousin, he was bleeding by the dough mat. Uncle Rob the nigga, something I can't not see, Midwest nigga, riding out the bomb beat, pole pimp, no shit, smoking to some dope shit, cops pull up, nigga, I don't know shit, I done seen hella shots, this the land nigga, I done swing hella blocks, uh, hiding dope in my ball cap, filled applications, they ain't called back, got it off my ass, I done did all that, on Oakland, chillin' where my dogs at. 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 This the trenches, nigga, bring a stick and a hard hat. Yeah, and a hard hat. Puerto Rican bitch, smash my windows with a ball bat. Damn. I appreciate y'all. Look at the look at look at Orchata. He was like, I felt that Puerto Rican bitch is smashing my windows with a ball bat. Look, he said, Yeah. <laughs> hey, so we ready for the um, we ready for the uh, two Rome streets tickets? Say, who knows the answer? Raise their hand. Anybody know the answer? Raise their hand. My man Joe knows the answer. Yes, that's true. You get two free tickets to the uh, Rome streets, man. So yes, it's gonna be a great night. You was going to get tickets anyway. You knew that shit. You knew I was going to do that, man. So, hey, so my name is AM Early Morning. I got one more. Can I do one more for y'all? Yeah. All right, cool. I got one more for y'all. It's off my Oakley project. Um, 
I just want to give one second of silence. Both of my homies uh, had passed away in like a two-year time frame. One was my barber, um, and one was just a good time friend of mine who honestly, uh, he just made, he's the reason why I rap. Uh, so his name is Maneuver, and my other man's name is uh, John the Barber. So if I can get one second, just, just complete silence, man. Y'all seriously is the best. I thank y'all, man. So we're gonna do this. This one's called Roll One for Maneuver and Big John. Let's get it, DJ. Uh. Bitch, we on Oakley. Bitch, we on Oakley. Bitch, we on Oakley. Yeah. With the crackheads living by the corner store. Got crackheads living like Cheryl Crow. Back and forth running since a young and like a loja dope. Maintain duck low, getting heavy dope. Off white dripping with my baby boo. Get home, mama had him last ten and two. Ain't many like your boy. Very few mad at my situation. Cops ain't got a clue. Nah, anesthetol, acetone. Got 35 years talking on the phone. Follow every guideline, every protocol. Can I get a front? Nah, nigga, I don't float the dog. Pimping on the track like the player's ball. Graffiti of my niggas painted on the wall. Fuck the ops, fuck the cops, we don't never stop. 6.30 in the morning, we ain't close the shop. Nah, why they worry about how we living? Four scores up, we ain't never missing. Can't stop the show, no, when the mission. Can't stop the show, no, when the mission. Yeah, why they worry about how we living? Four scores up, we ain't never missing. Can't stop the show, no, when the mission. Yeah, no win the mission. Uh, eight games and 12 blocks. Take the wrong left, send the hella shots. I'm with guns, rolling reefer, sipping tequila. 95 bricks, that's a Mona Lisa. What you talking out of reach? Get your money up. You little niggas can't walk, how you want it up? Opposition missing when the bell given. Sid vicious, 12 joints every day, Christmas. Uh, niggas coming with the fuckery. Lippin' on the gram, close they mouth publicly Dumb a feed nine piece, smellin' like a potpourri Four scores up, y'all ain't close to me Nah, why they worry about how we livin' Four scores up, we ain't never missin' Can't stop the show, no, win the mission Can't stop the show, no, win the mission Yeah, why they worry about how we livin' Four scores up, we ain't never missin' Can't stop the show, no win the mission. Yeah, no win the mission. Bitch, we on Oakley. Bitch, we on Oakley. Bitch, we on Oakley. Yeah, bitch, we on Oakley. Bitch, we on Oakley. Bitch, we on Oakley. Yeah. Hey, y'all have been a great fucking crowd, man. For real. Follow me on Instagram, AM Early Morning. My girl told me not to try to scare y'all. I hope I didn't do that with these big muscles and this crazy looking shit. All right, I love y'all, man. Big Orchata, man. Salute to you. I know it's baby. <laughs> Give it up for AM Early Morning, man. Give it up to him, man. The strongest Puerto Rican I've ever seen in my life. Motherfuckers be skinny as hell. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He was a Mexican Snoop Dogg. He was like, yeah, so, yeah, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? He's a, he's a rhythm, but nizzle, but dizzle. With... But, yeah, no, nah, he did his thing, man. Man, how y'all having a good night so far? <laughs> man, that music is fire, Joe. Where'd you find these guys at? Real shit? You, you put hashtag good music and they just popped up? Yeah. Good shit, man. Nah, man, there's a lot of hip-hop feels. You were in line. See, the thing is, when he said he's running a, a rap show and stuff like that, you get scared, bro, like... Fuck, like, what kind of rap? Are we talking about the, you know what I'm saying, like, the, you know, the future where you can't hear them, you don't understand them and shit? But no, nah, these guys say all their syllables, bro. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you you use your syllables, bro. <laughs> you should be proud, bro, man. I, I'm just saying, bro, you know, you, from, you know, being from the, you know what I'm saying, the hood of the east side, bro, we don't know what the syllable is, bro. We thought it's a syllabus. Like, it's the shit that... It's the shit that we had. They said the rules, like talking about you gotta have a three pong binder and shit. Fuck. But yeah, no nah, man. Congrats though, man. I'm getting a good education. I fuck with y'all, bro. But yeah, man. A lot of cool things, uh, you know, popped off with me. You know what I'm saying? So, I ended up getting, uh, you know, I ended up going to get my uh, citizenship over the pandemic, and. Uh, 
that should be a clapping moment, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, as, as, the, the, as, the, as, the, as, the, as the, the folk down in Central Illinois will say, he did it the right way. It's bullshit, bro. I don't recommend it. I should have stayed illegal. Now I got to pay taxes and shit. Some bullshit, bro. Y'all know what's on the citizenship test? It's bullshit, okay? It, it's, it's really bullshit. They're going to they go ask you to name three presidents. And I was like, fuck. Yeah, and I was like, damn, bro. We got, you know, matter of fact, never mind. I think I know three racist presidents. I got the top of my head. I was like, all right, Donald Trump, George Bush Jr., George Bush Sr. Boom, I got to correct. So I was in this motherfucker. Motherfuckers were waving their fucking uh, COVID vaccine card. Oh, I'm a Moderna mommy. And I was like, well, I'm a citizenship, bitch. I'm a citizen now. I got to pay taxes on these stepkids. This shit, this shit wild, man. This shit is wild. And, uh, you know, I'm a, just a little key real quick, man. Y'all artists, bro, y'all show yourself. Y'all present yourself very well, man. Um, I have a lot of issues when I host art, like musical concerts and shit. A big issue. I have Every time I come across it and people get offered me to host, bro, I get kind of scared because I've gotten into yelling battles. I've gotten in because they would come up last second, give them their music, and that was it. So all you guys did so far an amazing job, bro. Y'all really came here professionally. Y'all, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all came with good vibes, bro. Y'all are giving love, bro. That's amazing, important, bro. I don't know when it became uncool to show love. You know what I'm saying? I never understood it. And that's, that's the easiest place to roast when I go to these places is you see these nappy hatters, fake ass lace girls all the way in the back. And then you see the fucking dude with the fake Jordans in the back. And you got to do with the fake Versace in the back, but they'll never be around here to show you and give you attention and love, bro. And that's why they don't make it part further than SoundCloud. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's, that's just being real, bro. Um, I, I, uh, I'm affi affiliated with Star Power um, Entertainment, and you know our guy is Mario Cannon, and we're on tour with Twister right now. So, like, being around opening acts like that and like celebrity. <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, it's always a recruiting process, man. Like, you're always looking at who's, like, the next person, bro. And, like, it's so hard opening that trust, bro. It really what it is, bro. Because like, you're, you're, bringing, you're bringing your brand to somebody. And sometimes you might not make the right decision because we like to give chances and we got big hearts. So, you know, y'all growing up, y'all see the people y'all around with. People support you, people they don't. You know what I'm saying? So... It doesn't matter if you just met me, bro. I might have better intentions for you than anybody been on your block, bro. You know what I'm saying? And same for everybody, bro. Y'all just met me, but look, I'm already thinking of, all right, how can I throw like, J-Love raps in a movie of mine? How, oh, I also do movies and shit. And how can I throw, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking, I heard him rap, man, like, bro, he be, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could play my dad in a movie, bro. Like, you feel me? <laughs> nah, son, don't do what I did. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you feel me? Son, are you flipping bricks? I was doing that shit too. <laughs> All the dads, bro. You feel me? Any dads in here? Yo. Yeah, y'all didn't sound too proud, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I got some ain't shit ass. I ain't got. Some, I got some ain't ain't shit ass kids at home. Yeah, nah, man. Being a, uh, you know, that's right, so what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm good, bro. You feel me? I get weekends all every other weekend for like 200. Yeah, whatever. And. But, you know what I'm saying, my dad especially, bro, I, I love him, bro. He, he brings me a lot of love, man. He was a really genuine guy, and uh, he went through his own battles, but, bro, he, you know, he taught the way, you know what I'm saying? So if you still have your dad in your life, bro, that's a major, major blessing. But the thing is, man, about them, they're your biggest haters. <laughs> I swear to God, bro, your dad will be your biggest hater, and he will humble you. You know, I remember the day, <laughs> I, remember the day I told my dad I was depressed, and uh, he was <laughs> They'll always one-up you, all right? Always. They don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? You can talk about how your mental state is. Papi, get me ho. I'm sad. Como que pinche sad? What the fuck you mean you sad? You got a roof. You got food. You're fat. You get fed. When I was your age, I didn't have food. I didn't drink water for weeks. I didn't have a house. This shit was made out of mud. And... Yeah, just get the fuck back in your room, bro. We don't like talking to you. And then you go to Mexico, you see the dad got your nicest house and shit. He got fucking, he had a fridge full of shit. And bring it up to his mom, bro. Always bring it up to grandma. So dad said he didn't get fed. Oh, did he? 
nah, I'm sorry. I was teaching him a lesson. He said he was sad. And she was like, oh, he said he was sad. But nah, man, if you're dead, I should have been on suicide watch like five times, bro. So take care of your kids, bro. <laughs> swear to God. My mom just thought I was hungry. <laughs> you know, wipe your tears, baby. You hungry? I'm like, yeah. What do you want? A taco. You know, and I'm saying, like, you know, baby or child, people are like, what the fuck? Why you name me? I'm XO or Chada. That was funny, so I ain't gonna lie. Uh, you know, baby or child, the only reason I didn't change my name to something else is because baby Vaporu was took. You know what I'm saying? Baby Vicks Vapor Rub. You know what I'm saying? If you are a, a connoisseur of Vapor Rub, you'll know that uh, we have about three containers in each room. Clears anything from your torn Achilles to a heartbreak. You know what I'm saying? Vapor Rub is real. I put that shit on everything. You know what I'm saying? How you put open pit barbecue sauce on your shit? Yeah, bro. Before I go to bed, before I fuck, before I say prayer, before I say vapor rub. All day, baby. <laughs> vapor rub all day. Yes, sir. <laughs> he, he got vapor rub in his dress, bro. Don't let him lie to you, bro. That shit, that shit made a grow. Hey, it's a gro good growth, bro. You feel me? Why do you think my shit draping right now, bro? You feel me? <laughs> Nah, man, so we're going to get back on the topic of women real quick, man. Why? Uh, here's the thing. One of my favorite, uh, my, my favorite type of women is a black woman, bro, because they're so honest with you, and they love you from, from the top of your shit to your bottom of your shit. They think you a god and shit until you get in an argument with them. Until you get in an argument with them. I was dating this black girl. She she loved me, bro. She was like, "Oh, papi, your head, you know, your braids feel good. Your stomach feel right. Your beard feeling luscious." And I'm like, "Yeah, okay." And then uh, we got in an argument. She was like, "Oh yeah? <laughs> well, if you don't get your fat Allen Iverson, Post Malone, DJ Khaled looking ass up out of here, your stomach actually too wide. You should have listened to your mama. You got too big and shit." And I'm just standing there with the like, "Damn, really? That's crazy face, like." Like, you were just rubbing on my stomach. Like, what happened? We was good. You was going to be my auntie and shit. Then I had to break up with her. So I started dating white girls because that's the only gender of women, uh, a race of women that lets me cheat on them a couple of times and <laughs> nothing happens. Yeah, bro. I can't date a Latina, bro. They stab you for looking at other women. <laughs> I talked with this one girl before, bro, and she saw I was grabbing my phone, and she punched me. She was like, who the fuck texting us? I was like, my mom, bro. The, well, tell mom to leave you the fuck alone. Yeah, bro. I got traumatized by a Latina, bro. That shit crazy. I was 15 years old with my first stab threat. Your stab threat was in the hood from an op. My stab threat was from a date, bro. That shit was... That shit will set you straight. Oh, God. I never, never again, bro. So let's stick to my Britneys and Karens. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to stick to them for a while, bro. I'm safe. You know what I'm saying? No one's going to hurt me anymore. I'm a king. Nah, real shit, bro. Shit, they, <laughs> you know, women and all that shit. You know, we're talking about daddy issues. Shit. I, I ain't got no daddy issues, but these single moms, bro, they, they have this weird fetish, bro. And uh, it had, she someone said, what? I was like, yeah, single moms, bro. They, they weird, bro. It's like, I look like their baby daddy that ain't shit. <laughs> like, they always bring it up. They, you know what I'm saying? This is the dude that got me pregnant and left me. They look just like me. I'm like, fuck. That's crazy. But what I noticed about single moms, too, bro, they dress their kids like their baby dad, too. I never understood that. They got the little fucking cut, the fade. They got the little Jordans and shit. I'm like, don't you hate that dude? Yeah, he ain't shit. He never in my kid's life. Whole time he blowing the phone up talking about, can I see my son? She's like, no. <laughs> Real shit, bro. I, I, dude, when I'm hanging out with these single moms, bro, I see some shit, bro. I know they ain't shit. I'm just there for the check. <laughs> I slide a dub to the shorty. Hey, bro, I know your mom wasting on them fake ass lashes, bro. So here's a dub. I know she ain't giving you shit. Real shit. Oh God! So I saw that Chicago Public Schools was giving the the the, the parents like a what was it three hundred dollar credit every month or some shit? Fucking Rocky said that they're gonna waste the credit on the fake lashes and then weaves and shit. That's bogus. 
Real shit. Fucking. <laughs> Give me fucking credit, bro. I'm in these streets. I just did a book bag giveaway, bro. And these kids loved it. You know what I'm saying? And always give back, bro. If you ever in doubt, there's never doubt in giving back, bro. Because I was all up in that motherfuckers. When I was that kid, bro, I was grabbing everything that I didn't need. We would go to the <laughs> back to school giveaways and shit. I would grab fucking all the mechanical pencils. I didn't grab no folders. I didn't grab shit. I grabbed fucking Digimon cards. Y'all know what Digimon cards are? Y'all some youngins. Yeah, I grabbed the fucking Pokemon cards, fucking, there, there was this, there, was, there was somebody's aunt giving bowl cuts out. I was in that motherfucker. My mom threw me in there. I never forgave her. Well, I was a part of that generation that saw fades go from 10 to $40. Ain't that some shit? Like, when did barbers realize their worth? <laughs> fuck. I wish I could slide my 10 and be like, are we good? Nah, fuck that. All these kids got better haircuts than me, bro. I'm jealous. I wish I had a single mom as a mom. Fuck. But nah, man, I, I hear the uh, marital story between my mom and my dad, and it's kind of like crazy. Because my, my dad never wanted my mom. He said she was annoying. Yeah, real shit. My mom got the bag, bro. Real shit. She was, she's telling me my dad used to work at a restaurant in California, and every fucking day she would go see him and ask for lunch and shit. And my dad would feed her just so she'd shut up. And uh, my mom stole my dad uh, from his girlfriend at the time. So ladies, if you see a guy and she has a boyfriend, or has a, he has a girlfriend, don't stop. Be persistent and consistent, okay? Sooner or later, she, you know what I'm saying, you're gonna be you're gonna get the bag. <laughs> my mom bragged about it too. She was like, I got your dad. I was like, he didn't even want you. And my dad in the back, like, Shh, fuck, fuck, I'm here, ain't I? Fuck. <laughs> Some shit. <laughs> it's real shit, bro. My mom gangster, though. She slapped him every time you do that. I was like, dude, I feel you, bro. I just got slapped by this other Latino. <laughs> Y'all ready for the last music act, man? <laughs> so right before he comes up, man, like I said, I lost, I listened to, I listened to all these the, the artists, man. I want to get a background. Because I wasn't going to hype them up if they were shit, bro. I ain't going to lie. I, <laughs> I didn't say nothing in the contract that I was going to be honest and shit. But <laughs> but <laughs> if, if these artists wasn't shit, bro, I'd be like, and coming to the stage, Future's little cousin, the past. <laughs> but nah, man, Constant L. Burns, bro. He, he goes crazy, bro. I love his music, man. He won't follow me back on Instagram because he's too famous. But uh, it's all good. He's going to show me love here soon, man. So if y'all can make some fucking noise. For the homie, the one and only, Constant Elfer, the headliner. Hey, y'all make some noise for my homie Horshada, man. This dude is funny. Skibby, my God, thank you for bringing me here, bro. I'm, 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 I'm glad to see all these beautiful faces right here. I want y'all make some noise for yourself one time, because y'all woke up this morning. I'll go back to Constantel Burks. I'm from Chicago. I led a very rough life. I made bad decisions. I beat cancer. I beat cancer. Got held up at gunpoint three times, survived that. Proud father. Basically, what I'm saying, bad shit gonna happen, yo, but, you know, you gotta weigh out the negatives with the positive. So, hey, shout out to uh, A.O. Early Morning. Shout out to my homie, Jay. <laughs> shout out to DJ Ron and this motherfucker, man. So, since I lived a hard life, I got a little ignorant. Y'all ready to have some fun? Yeah. Home for the show, my last. Let's go! I met this young lady, man, I fell in love. Burn. This is the weirdest love song you're gonna hear. I swear, when she get it. Oh. Hey, big boy, big boy. Hey. This is real. Yeah. Give a little good at this house. Wake him up. Woo. Woke up this morning like I'm on top of the world. Yeah. 
just got some more to hear from my favorite girl. I did. Baby mama told me I could come get my son. Oh yeah, that girl that gave me more than head. I think she the one. Oh shucks, boy, your oh boy, life is pretty fucking good. Oh fuck, Mr. Rogers, get to know the neighbors in the hood. Hey, make some extra so I drop some of my homie books. Happiness a choice, nigga. I'm feeling good. Niggas out here stressing, that shit funny to me. I'm gon' mad my business and gon' smoke me some tree Got a thick, pretty bitch that love cooking for me She gon' catch your attitude if you keep looking at me Oh, fuck a bad wood, I still roll my loud and white out Get that hero on me case I gotta go, pow pow Putting in work, overtime, I don't clock out Fuck your friend request, I'ma block your whole profile Moms don't like it when I call a woman a bitch I respond to sorry mama, but if them shoes fit hey, Me and my niggas acting like niggas You can't do shit about it, bitch, you just stuck with us Woke up this morning like I'm on top of the world I just got some morning hair from my favorite girl Baby mama told me I could come get my son Oh yeah, that girl that gave me morning hair, I think she the one Pretty fucking good. Oh, fuck. Mr. Rogers, get to know the neighbors in the hood. Uh, make some extra so I drop some of my homie books. Happiness a choice, nigga. I'm feeling good. Back when I was younger, Captain and Bacardi. Now we getting bigger. Now we getting money. I run it, I run it up, my nigga. But they still treat me like I'm a killer. Oh, God, shit is getting realer and realer. I ain't got time to put my head. When I want some inspiration, I'ma look up in the mirror Back in the day, I was a follower Then I got my team and got my followers up Now that I'm a leader, nigga, bottoms up Now that I got the lead, nigga, follow up Woke up this morning like I'm on top of the world I just got some morning hair from my favorite girl Baby mama told me I could come get my son Oh yeah, that girl that gave me morning hair, I think she the one Pretty fucking good. Oh, fuck. Mr. Rogers, get to know the neighbors in the hood. Make some extra so I drop some of my homie books. Happiness a choice, nigga. Hey, y'all still rocking with me, man? On oh, my left leg, y'all rocking? DJ Ron, let's get him, bro. Oh, it's all good, bro. I got a lot of energy. <laughs> I got a lot of energy. I took my Flintstone vitamins. I'm feeling good. I still take Flintstone vitamins. Make some noise for the Flintstone vitamins. <laughs> On everything, I still take them. My son get mad. He be like, those are mine. I bought them. She timed out. I bought them. Huh? Yo, in my past, we all, yeah, in your past, yeah, we all hung out yeah. with people that wasn't good for us, man. Birds. This is where this came from, man. That's Johnny, baby. Let's go. Too much time being loyal to the wrong fucking nigga. Oh, time and energy. Yo, some goofy ass bitch. Let's go. Take the back seat. To some weak minded nigga. Hey, this my season now, nigga. Keep your thanks. I ain't give it. Woo. Nah, bitch. Get out my face. 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 Ooh. Take a look at me and look at you No need to ask nobody for no proof let's go, let's go. When you in tune, there's nothing much that you can do Damn. If we take shots in your head, boy, that's solid proof Boy, you are the beast, I'm fucking proud of me that I ain't starving, B Oh, I get it, you want me starving, G I'm an alpha male, I'm an Aries man Ran me through the streets, just play A Ain't no plan B, unless I'm in some chicks Niggas say I'm working like I'm hungry while I have it A In the kitchen cooking, we ain't asking for no fucking this ain't no debate, nigga, boy, let's get it straight Gold digger, sweet tooth craving, they drooling for this game Too much time being loyal to the wrong fucking niggas Wasted time and energy Yo, some goofy ass bitches Had to take the back seat To some weak-minded niggas It's my season nine, nigga Keep your thanks, I ain't give it Woo! Yeah. Hey, he already wheezing. You ain't got your whole city. How you want the whole region? 
Hey, me there at his chest. He did the plasma for religious. Always cross your teeth. Always dot your eyes. Never sell your soul. Always balance your pride. Fat blunts, ooh. My lungs go. I'm blessed. These screws are loose. Back in my day, had to do the direction to get a fucking play on the interview. Y'all still fucking with me? Let's get him, man. Yeah. Let me talk my shit, man. Birds. Yeah, we worked the dead end nine to five. I told them let's go for a night train. I told them let's go for a night train. I'm stuck on the night nice ship. Yeah. Police, they gripping, they gunning, they night nice stick. I'm thick about in the lick. Call up the homie, pull up with the forklift. The drugs like acrobats. They swing for my hands, start doing them backflips. I call a bitch Molly, told her call Mary, you told her let's go for a night trip. I'm having these dark moments. My energy's up like they flipping the light switch. I'm covered in all black. The devil laid on my shoulder, told me nice fit. I'm watching the white man. He put the on me and I laugh like nice whip. I'm drinking that potion. I'm looking at Mother Mary like you wanna sip. Off track like a city skip Bite smoking like I took a rip Full of air like a bag of chips Faucet water cause I like the drip Want a movie nigga, here's a snip On the 10, now you want a clip Man, these niggas talking shit up on the internet and public, they really a fucking bitch I'm stuck on the night ship Police, they gripping, they gunning, they night stick I'm thinking about hitting the lick Call up the homie, pull up with the forklift The drugs like acrobats They swing for my hands, start doing them backflips I call her bitch Molly, told her call Mary Yes, told her let's go for a night trip Ride, 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 yeah, ride, yeah, ride, yeah, ride, yeah, ride, yeah, ride, yeah, ride, 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 
Couple pair of J's, I see niggas go broke Faith don't exist when a nigga who famous Ignorance is so contagious, then again it's entertaining No lord My niggas don't dream no more Couple pair of J's, I see niggas go broke Faith don't exist when a nigga who famous Ignorance is so contagious, it's entertaining No lord Hey Job on the 9 to 5, guess what? You can still do it. Everybody got a motherfucking dream, chase that shit. Make some noise for yourself on my left foot. <laughs> One more, let's take it home, big dog. Huh? Huh? I had to make this for my day ones, man. Huh? I'm gonna have to throw Skippy in this, in this category, man. Hey, Skippy, I dedicate this to you, man. Trust my fucking word, it go a long way Oh God, that's my nigga, man, I fuck with him a long way My Lord, I used to be broke, but man, I came a long way I'm trying to make this money stretch the fuck a long way Hold up, hold up Trust my fucking word, it go a long way That's my nigga, man, I fuck with him a long way Like a movie, so I'm acting now. I see the vision, I just need to map it out. Thank God for the struggle, I'm not tapping out. Hey, May weather in the shine, niggas get packy out. This camera better say yo, for my P's and Q's, I'm an alpha. Nigga, bad money, get the hardest, I did it, try to walk up on me. I'm a future that you niggas come and take my earnings. Nigga, you got work, you got work, I got bills, I need bills. I'ma need a man that's been a hell of a journey. Be the next second, be the king, get a hit. That's a grown man, drink it, my nigga, don't let it spill. When my niggas had a ride, we ride just for the dream. When I said, three men, we down for the kill. We don't wanna go there, can you please just chill? They wanna be niggas, but scared to be niggas. Niggas still 
man, I came a long way. I'm trying to make this money stretch the fuck a long way. Hold up, hold up, trust my fucking word. Love y'all, man. Peace and love. Hey, give it a round of applause. Give me a round of applause, man. Man, keep making some noise, man. That was amazing, bro. That was our headline. He went crazy, bro. Give it up for him again. One more. Man, that was a good fucking show, man. That was amazing, bro. Y'all some dope-ass musicians, bro. I'll tell you that shit right now, bro. Real shit. Like I said, I didn't get hired, to be honest, but I'm being you know, real shit, though. Y'all did y'all thing, man. And with, with being an artist, man, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it's more than what you see. It's so much stuff that goes behind the scenes, and it, it's, it's really cool to see it come to life, bro. So uh, what you just saw right there, that's love right there, bro. That's good shit, man. And as artists, please, bro, always remember, the people that show you love, bro, show them love, bro. You know what I'm saying? They didn't have to. They didn't have to. Hate is, to hate is easy. To love is hard. You know what I'm saying? So e when it comes to anything in life, bro, I see a lot of people when they're posting stuff on Facebook, people will react to like a laughing reaction or they'll react to a mad emoji, you know, and they'll call them out. Why you laugh? Why you mad? You know, you got to change your energy and you got to put energy towards the people that love you. You know what I'm saying? So anybody who's talking shit, you know what I'm saying, hating on you, bro, don't mind them. You're doing the right thing. People that love you, though, give them all the fucking love in the world. So... You know, always keep in mind, keep in your head, bro. There's people that are always going to hate on you, but people that love you, though, I'm telling you, bro, that love is powerful. And when it's reciprocated, it's huge. So as an artist, please, guys, if you got Spotify, if you got Apple, check these guys out. Add them to your playlist, bro. It, 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 really, it really does something to the soul when you see your, your, your single get added to a playlist. So um, y'all three, please get me y'all songs to, to me to, on Spotify because I got a playlist, uh, Star Power playlist. We feature Montana 300 and all them, bro, and they, you know what I'm saying? So we got some good names on there, and we actually get reactions out of it, too. So even they, as big as name is that, bro, they still love seeing that shit. So no matter how big it is, just show love, man. Take pictures, network, and everything. And, uh, you know, we're going to keep going tonight. So uh, shout out to the DJ. You know what I'm saying? He did his thing. Ron Dizzle did his thing. Shout out to On The Rocks in the back, man, giving us some juicy juice. Shout out to Rocky over there being cashier of the year. Yes, sir. And I want to bring up the man of the hour, man, the creator of, of, of Beats, Beds, and Browns, bro. Give it up for Joe. Give me. So proud to be here tonight and to witness these great performances 
We got this live streaming. People are going to see this all over the world. You guys brought it today. This was amazing. Not only represents your brand well, it represents our brand well. Uh, this was an idea. It started as a concept, and it was nothing without these performers coming out and being interviewed and having casual conversations. That's what it's all about. I'm a curious individual. These people were more than happy to share their story, their journey from coming up, the struggles, marketing their business, growing, talking about their dreams and desires. That's what these episodes are all about. As we talk with some of our commercial uh, interviewees, we talk about their journey from entrepreneur, from ideation to success. Uh, we talk to legislators about urban agriculture bills, and we talk about gardening. It's a crazy mix, but it works. And uh, again, without the performers, without people like Rock, without Archada, without you people coming out to support, it's nothing. So go out, let's watch that first episode tonight, midnight on YouTube, Beats, Beds, and Browns. Smash that subscribe button and be sure to listen to these next episodes. Thank you all.